All right. The Oklahoma Sooners. Lincoln Riley in this bunch. Um, I mean, just year after year, dominating this conference. Last year was the year, if you were going to catch them, you needed to catch them last year. And Iowa State got them in the, in the regular season. Kansas State got them regular season. When it came down to, you know, to the cutting time, Iowa State could not get it done. And with that said, uh, this, uh, you know, they went 9-2 last year. Massive bowl win over a completely depleted Florida team. Sure. But still, 55-20 to 20 is still 55-20. to 20. So, went 12-2 and two the season before that. Their SP Plus projected record is 11-1. and one. FPI has got them going 11-1. and one. Their win total is 11. The over and under both juiced at minus 115. Uh, I don't think that this is national title or bust because while they do have a bunch of experience back, they've got a bunch of dudes back, all these guys can come back again next year. Like, it, literally the whole team can come back again next year. A uh, lot of experience on offensive line and defensive line mixed with some young, explosive skill players. Spencer Rattler has got the number one offensive line, the number four running back room, the number two wide receiver room. Like, they got offensive talent for days. And they've always kind of had that. Like, the offense is going to put up obscene, like just obscene numbers this year. The defense, though, has got eight starters back, and they're bringing in transfers. They got the number three defensive line in the country. They got the number nine linebacker room in the country and the number three secondary in the country. And Alex Grinch finally has the pieces that he wants for his ideal defense. Like, I think that this is a national championship team this year. Are they going to be able to get there? I don't know. Would it surprise me if they don't? No. But they finally have a defense to go with that offense. I've got them going over the eleven. Like, I, I look at this schedule. Like, the non-conference is at Tulane, Western Carolina, and Nebraska. Oh, no. It's not going to come in non-con. It, it, it's, you know, will they lose a game? Are they going to go undefeated? See, that's the thing. I think they are closer to undefeated than they are to losing two games, right? Well, yeah. So, if the number is 11, not 11 yeah. and a half, then I like their odds of, of winning 12 as opposed to losing two. That's probably right. That's probably right. You got to go over there. That makes sense. I mean, I I cannot stress how much I like this team this year. Like, that defense has completely sold it for me. Like, I, you, they've always got a good offense, right? Like, it, it took a little time with Spencer Rattler last year, but it was because they were unable to stop anybody, really, at the beginning of last year. This year, like, they're good. So, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Which, by the way, their conference odds to win, minus 150 to win the Big 12. So, Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.